Here we go again with another cybersecurity breach on an organization. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And today I want to talk about another cybersecurity incident that has happened. Uh, this one actually happened to a, a company that a lot of people use and that company is called PayPal. And some accounts have been breached. It's pretty much called a large scale credentials uh, stuffing attack. So let's hop over to the article and check things out and see what happened. All right, so this article is on bleepingcomputer.com, and of course, I'll always have the link down in the description of the video. But as you can see by the title, it basically states PayPal accounts breached in large scale credentials stuffing attack. And this article was released on January 19, uh, last week, sometime. And I don't know, I just feel a little crazy about this one because. You know, PayPal has been around for a very long time. They're on top of the game when it comes to, you know, purchasing things online as far as the security that they use and all that stuff. And I've been using PayPal for a very long time. So that's kind of why I feel a little a little ways about what happened. But it says PayPal is sending out data breach notifications to thousands of users who had their accounts uh, assessed through uh, credential stuffing attacks that expose some personal data. Now it says credential stuffing, which I've never heard of this term before, credential stuffing or attacks where hackers attempt to access an account by trying out usernames and password pairs sourced from data leaks on various websites. Okay, so basically what they're doing is taking the information that they got from other data breaches and using those same credentials you know to try to get into the accounts but it says these types of attacks rely on an automatic approach which uh, i'm sure that's what they were doing using bots yeah it says with bots running list of credentials to stuff into lo login portals and various uh services now let's go a little bit down it says uh credential stuffing targets uh, users that employ the same password for multiple online accounts, which is known as password recycling. Yes, and this is something that I always talk about on my channel. I always talk about people need to use different passwords for the different accounts that they use online. And I also recommend using a password manager. And this is a great way of creating new passwords, you know, for those new accounts as well as tracking them using a master password and i always talk about uh keep pass xc which is an offline password manager that's not associated with the cloud we've all heard about those issues with those cloud providers that are out there uh, so i always recommend the offline version but you know a password manager nonetheless should uh, help you by not allowing you to use the same password over and over and you don't have to remember the passwords the only password you have to remember is your master password which you need to unlock all your passwords for your other accounts within the database that's offline now it says close to 35,000 users impacted now i haven't received the email so i'm not sure if my account but yeah, I probably would have heard by now, but it says PayPal explains that the credential stuffing attack occurred between December 6th and December 8th, uh, 2022. The company detected and mitigated it at the time, but also started an internal investigation to find out how the hackers obtained access to the accounts. I scroll a little down it says uh by december 20th 2022 yeah and they typically do things like this around you know holidays uh at least that's the trend i've always seen they always do a lot of this these attacks like this uh over the holidays because people are spending time with their family they're you know probably not checking their accounts as often as they check them you know they catch any issues with their accounts or whatever but anyway, it says uh, PayPal concluded his uh, investigation confirming that unauthorized third parties 
logged into the accounts with credentials or valid credentials so that's crazy that right there that shows that a lot of people are using the same passwords over and over especially if they pulled it from a different breach and use that same account as well as password pair you know to get into a paypal account i mean it was used you know what i'm saying now the electronics payment platform claims that this was not due to a breach on its system and has no evidence that the user credentials were obtained directly from them it says according to the data breach uh reporting from paypal 34,942 of its users have been impacted by this incident during the two days uh hackers had access uh to account holders full name date of birth postal address social security number and individual tax identification number so that sucks right there you know that's a lot of pertinent information people need in order to you know hackers need in order to you know open up accounts see a name and do it basically steal your identity and sell it on a dark web or whatever they want to do with that information that's critical right there that information that's right there now it says transaction history connected credit and debit card details and paypal invoicing data are also accessible on paypal accounts and that's true because i use the invoicing system as well especially if you have like a business account you converted it over to a business account then that information is there you know all the in, uh, invoicing and all that stuff uh like if you're a freelancer or something to that effect is in that account now it says PayPal says it took timely action to limit the intruder intruders access to the platform and reset passwords of accounts confirmed to have been breached. But my thoughts is everyone should change their password as well. If you know we, we see that PayPal has been having an is, uh, issue with this and uh, in order to make, mitigate you be, becoming a victim or something to that effect then I 100% recommend you change your password again as well uh, if you haven't. Now it says, also the notification claims that the attacks have not attempted or did not manage to perform any transactions from the breach PayPal information. Yeah, they're probably just looking for this information. But I'm getting into your PayPal account. Like I said, they can do whatever they want. They can open up accounts in your name, you know, especially if they have all this information, you know, right here. Now it says, uh, we have no information suggesting that any of your personal information was misused as a result of this incident or that there are many unauthorized transactions on your account. Uh, reads PayPal notification to impact the user. So that's it right there. It tells you right there. Now it says, we reset the password of affected PayPal accounts and implemented enhanced security controls that will require you to establish a new password the next time you log in so that's that's good that they actually did they, they they got in front of it you know what i'm saying once they figured it out they you know took the proper steps in order to get it straight now it says impact the users will receive a free of charge two-year identity monitoring service from equifax now that's dope right there they threw that in there uh so two years just to make sure because like i said that information they got up here you can do whatever you want with it you can buy a purchase a house with all this information uh probably not as much now because a lot a lot of things are more scrutinized but i'm just saying you know people have the information to do that you know what i'm saying if they got that information off your account now it says impacted uh users oh yeah we already read that now it says the company strong, strongly recommends that recipients of the notice change the password for other online accounts using unique a unique and long string yeah and this is where your password manager will come in a lot of them have a passwords gen, password generator so you could generate a long unique password uh, now it says typically a good password is at least 12 characters long which just to throw my stuff in there 16 i use 16 on all my accounts 16 characters long and i also include alphanumeric characters and symbols so i use all that you know what i'm saying now uh, moreover paypal advises users to activate two-factor authentication which you should you know what i'm saying i definitely recommend that as well protection for the account setting menu uh, which can prevent an authorized party from accessing accessing an account even if they have a valid username and password yes and i definitely recommend you do that two-factor authentication is another way of protecting your account 
to throw that on there but i hope you guys enjoyed this video um it's definitely interesting to follow these cybersecurity, you know uh issues that are going on and this was a doozy right here as well being that this is paypal it's like one of the number one you know online applications that a lot of people use to purchase things online uh because you can use multiple accounts under there and all that from different you know banks and all that stuff you know under your account it's it's an awesome platform i've been using paypal since my ebay days when i used to sell things on ebay and you know buy things on there paypal is very secure they you know back purchases or protect you you know from potential scams if you use it properly but yeah they also hold a lot of your information so you don't want these accounts you know breached in any way and I also recommend you guys change your passwords. Even if, you know, you got in, change your password. I would change it again, you know what I'm saying? And if you're not on that list that received the email, still change your password. You know what I'm saying? Make it a little bit more secure. You know, that way you ain't got to worry about it, you know, in the future. You know, at least for the time being. Now, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And of course, keep it techy.